The families of disabled people living in state-run group houses say the government is leaving them in the dark over changes to the system. Disability Services wants the private sector to run the homes and is progressively handing over control. Sue and Mike's son Clinton will be 40 soon. He's been in group care homes for the past 32 years. Now the government wants to hand over control of those homes to the private sector. It'll be so disruptive. He doesn't like change. Clinton never likes change. Always plays up when there's a new staff member. The Smiths are not alone in their concerns. Guardian Sue Pethick is worried about how the changes will affect 53-year-old Linda, who's been in government care since she was 19. If it's forced, I think for Linda, it will be quite catastrophic. I think she will go into a rapid medical decline. 85% of existing group homes are already privately run. Disability Services Minister Helen Morton says as the government relinquishes control, the quality of care for people in the homes will not change. The not-for-profit sector is very, very capable. They are very capable across a whole range of services. Unions say the residents are being lost in the race to privatise. What we're seeing here is that we're seeing privatisation for privatisation's sake, not for the benefit of people who live in disability services group homes. The government insists the changes are not not being rushed, that it's a planned transition to bring WA into line with the NDIS. But families say they're being left in the dark. Because we don't know. Helen Morton needs to, you know, to see what it does to us. The changeover will take place over coming months. Katrin Long, ABC News.